I got sent to the mm-hmm. principal's office for getting punched in the face. You got Why did you get <laughs> Why did That's you what get I'm wondering sent? to this Why? day. Because me and my friend were eating lunch. And then I was, you know, my usual rambunctious self. I was just pointing in the air randomly, you know, what? as people do. And then I po- I poked his glasses and I felt bad because he was like upset, like visually upset. So I was just like, listen, man, I'm sorry. You could poke me in my glasses, man. <gasps> and then he like punched me in the nose. Oh my and I was God. just like... <laughs> <laughs> you deserved it. I like stood there for like five, I did not deserve it. <laughs> I poked him in the glasses and I got punched square in the nose. Oh, bro, he, he would you. He <laughs> would not have punched you if you didn't touch his glasses. But that's Dude. just me. I'm just rambunctious. I'm a free you crust. The barrier. Well, that's just how he pokes. He pokes with his fist, Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. You incited oh the God. violence yeah. with but your initial poke. Me and my friend were just like, like sitting there because we couldn't believe what just happened. Because <laughs> anyone seeing it, it's not that big of a deal. And then I just get punched yeah. square. In the, but the thing is, I didn't have a problem with this, with the guy that punched me, like at all. Like we had no like beef or anything. Uh-huh. So I was just like. Where is this coming from? Oh that God. was your beef. But he you didn't have... have any beef with you until the moment you touched his glasses. <laughs> That's the beef. That is the beef. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have touched Damn. his glasses. But yeah, we went to the dean and stuff. And then um, oh, and then the dean was like, well, call your friend over. And then we called him over. And then he just made this story that was like, you know how at like gym class, some there's like people that like, walk with their friends like around the whole thing yeah it was like uh-huh. me and him usually do that we like walk around the thing and just like talk and stuff uh-huh. but then there are some days that you like want to run because you want like a good grade or something right okay. so then i asked my friend like oh do you want to run this time so he brought that up to the dean for and then for some reason he was just like oh yeah he called me fat because he asked me i wanted <gasps> if i wanted to run during gym class <laughs> and i was like he said that about you? He said that about you? <laughs> I was just so oh confused. God. And then the dean was just like, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, you oh both my God. Tension. You can't treat your friend like that. I'm just, I was just sitting there and I was just like, <gasps> what is happening? Dude. Oh my God. <laughs> you were God. looking out for your friend. I just literally, all I asked him was, do you want to run? Oh my god! <laughs> and how does that mean? Freddy. I called him fat. <laughs> but yeah, that is an, as a verbal well, attack. Yeah, it was. It, Frenny, I guess now's it your was chance to call fault. him out. Now's your yeah. chance to call him out. What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> move that up. Move that up. <laughs> We're sorry. Yeah. We're so- <laughs> yeah, and I'm calling you. <laughs> I'm calling you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Um, anyways, welcome to the podcast. (laughs) Hello, everyone. This is No Self Control, a monthly podcast where a group of weird friends get together and we have casual, no pressure conversations about anything and everything that comes to mind. We are Self Control Collective, and I am one of your hosts, Kirby, and I'm here with my wonderful co-hosts, Francisco, Rose, Ia, and our showrunner for today is Dom. Let's do this. Franny, I love your background. Oh, this yeah. background? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, because it's actually Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, to those of us who are listening to the podcast, make sure you check out our YouTube. <laughs> video so you can see franny's wonderful background (laughs) for those listening on the podcast he is in front of many many colorful candied hearts because he loves you our listeners by the way thank you so much for all who listened to our very first podcast yes thank you so much for listening to us rant about (laughs) whatever whatever it was that we even even talked about about. (laughs) yeah i blacked out for all that recording so i don't even remember what we talked about (laughs) Wait, do you guys actually have plans on Valentine's Day? No. I'm... In in a panorama? I don't think no, I've maybe. ever had plans on Valentine's Day. I've never spent Aww. Valentine's Day with, like, a significant other before, but I always have fun, like, spending Valentine's Day with my friends. Like, I don't even care. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Because I think it's more but fun. But the thing is, like, we don't need to show people we love them just on one day. We can tell them Ooh, every snaps, single snaps, day. Snaps, 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 snaps. Right? Snaps, snaps. Freaking bars, Rose. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, you drive, you drop this, That's right. That's queen. True. I think my favorite Galentine's was... um. Um, when I was dorming, I went to my friend's dorms because they were all single too. And yeah. they had just gotten a bottle of Stella Rosé. Shoot! <laughs> but Let's we, go. Didn't, we didn't have a, a like a corkscrew. It was Galentine's. We just wanted to like have a glass of wine with the gals. Yeah, you know? just like Ooh, wind yeah, down just a little. To, you know, just have get to loose. Fun, like, you know? Exams are hard, you know. Yeah. But we didn't. <laughs> we did not have a corkscrew. And we I, we were just so set on this wine, like we just really wanted that wine, and we were very set on opening yeah, you got it. it. You got it. And like we we texted our friend who had a corkscrew if they could bring it over, but then that person was too lit at their own Valentine's Day, <laughs> so we were like, okay, f- it, we gotta do it ourselves. So we just grabbed the bottle, and I was googling ways, and it told us to use a knife, like a steak knife. Oh my god! So a I steak knife. It. That's also dangerous. Mm-hmm. It is, and I just I like. <laughs> I they need that wine, though, but you got to do what you got to do I for that wine. I need that wine. I needed <laughs> to celebrate Galentine's with my gals. You know, just nothing crazy. Just yeah, nothing crazy. Fun. Just, like, just getting a steak fun. knife and, like, opening a bottle of wine. Yeah. So I stabbed <laughs> it through to the cork. And then after that, I couldn't I couldn't get it out. So I just kept, like, jiggling oh the God. knife. And I was trying to, like, cut it out. But then there was cork going into the wine. But Ooh. I didn't care. I just wanted Vitamins. the wine. So, like, after freaking two hours, we finally got the cork out, and we poured it, and there was cork everywhere in the wine. Mm. Oh, my God. Nutrients. But we still drank it because wine with the gals on Galentine is important. Okay, but you, you, said, to. you, you said it took to. two hours. You said it took two hours. The time that it took, you could have just gone to the store and gotten the That's true. The no. cork but that's also, like, money. And you're going to be away from your gals on Galentine's? The yeah, gals got to do what the gals got to do. I remember on my Galentine's mm-hmm. with my gals. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Go on. We are just getting a little crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I've ever like celebrated Valentine's Day. Aww. Like even you don't have. Oh a, my God. <laughs> you don't have um. I don't know what a boy. You're was. smiling on. <laughs> uh, you never had a Valentine's Day. Pal. Or what about Pal. like? What about in middle school? Like, did people hand out like Valentine's Day cards? I think class? it was like obligatory. Like the, the obligatory. Teacher, I think yeah. I think it was obligatory. I think it was like the teacher made an assignment out of it, and then you were like, oh, really? Remember to bring candies for your fellow classmates and then we'll pass them all we'll pass them we'll pass them all around and then mm-hmm. yeah that's like the closest i've ever gotten to receiving chocolate <laughs> hey you, know, you got I, I didn't, chocolate i didn't know that was like a thing like you know celebrating valentine's day with like your classmates and giving all that stuff with your classmates mm-hmm. in school oh, really? until i, I moved was, like, to normal. america oh no until i moved to america because in the philippines if it was like valentine's day like you just gave stuff to you like your crush or your significant mm. other oh. but here it's like super mm-hmm. normal to just like you know buy a lot of stuff for valentine's day for your friends mm-hmm. yeah yeah i think yeah, here I valentine's day is like like yeah of course spend it with your significant other because you love them but also i think it's just like love everybody like peace and love to everyone which i i really love that i like there's a bunch i hate about america but what i love is like on valentine's day love is for everybody Mm-hmm. yeah uh, but i also think it's just a huge marketing thing where like oh definitely, just, like, <laughs> oh, definitely. let's yeah. like oh it's valentine's day like get a new phone open a second right, line right, right. and then you'll get a new phone or something like yeah. that that's true yeah. but like get a new phone with the gals you know what i mean Ooh, <laughs> yeah, I'm with dead. The gals, with the gals. that's so true <laughs> but i feel like for like foreign countries valentine's is like different like it's more personal because I know, yeah. like, like, Japan and Korea, there's, like, there's, like, White Day, which is, like... Uh, it's, like, the I month after. White Day. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it, like val- there's Valentine's Day where the girls give the guys chocolate, and then there's White Day where the guys give the girls yeah. chocolate. White Day is oh, when okay. 
It's when guys who got chocolate from girls on Valentine's Day, they give like chocolate or treats to that to same return, girl. Yeah, like it's yeah. like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a give and take kind of. Yeah. Thing. There's so, also um, um, in Korea. My dad was telling me about like there's something called Black Day in March or April or something, where it's like on that day, all the people that didn't get anything, they just all come together and eat jajangmyeon. <laughs> And eat Wait, that's, so, that's so cute. Oh, that is so wholesome. That is so cute. So cute. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, that's that's their Galentine's. That's their Day. Galentine's. <laughs> cool. Wait, okay, hold on. Can I just ask, how do you guys feel about making your relationship Facebook official? Mm. I mean, I've never. I've never <laughs> okay, like yeah, I'm so not on know. Facebook anymore, so. The only people who would know are like my family members, and like the last thing I want my family to know is that I'm in a relationship. To be honest, yeah, I feel like it was such a big deal like back then, like when we were in high school and stuff. Mm -hmm. But now it's just like you see a picture of people together on Instagram just pop out of nowhere, and you're just like, oh, I guess they're together. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and they kind of just yeah, that's so true. I don't know why, Um, like, because when you see the picture on Instagram, it's like very. It's like very casual, and they're just showing yeah. they're just yeah. showing a picture of their significant other. But on mm-hmm. Facebook, it just feels like it's like a it feels like you have to do it. Like, yeah, it, it feels like, like yeah. It's like and this it's, person is off the market. This person yeah. is mine. Like the do post makes it a big deal. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, because it know. becomes a it's like a whole status, and like people can like it and comment. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. It's like cute. I just I don't ugh. like I've been with my boyfriend for six years now and we've wow. never like we've never like made it a facebook official or oh something like that because oh i don't know God. i just cringe why wouldn't you I so cringe. you guys aren't actually together so for six years actually. oh god sorry i don't accept it it's not i don't accept official. that relationship oh you guys better god. be making that official soon okay but right. like did you do you put a date on it because i remember like with you know one of my exes we put a date on it on facebook and then like with my last boyfriend he kind of put a random date, and I was like, "That's definitely not the date." No, we never, we never made it Facebook official. Mm. Then you're so. not together, honey. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Society says you're not together. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't acknowledge your relationship. Yeah. So. Sorry, I'm single. But now. she put I'm it kidding. on. <laughs> she put it on. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm tell. Kidding. You. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't keep this in. Don't keep this in. <laughs> Speaking of getting into relationships, um, do you have any weird experiences like with dating or with dating apps? Like, have you met anyone weird? Have you had any bad experiences? Mm -hmm. (laughs) I don't know. I mean, yeah. Who doesn't have like (laughs) weird experiences from dating apps? Like what? I don't know. Well, I started going on well okay when I first like started using um dating apps I'd only use Bumble and I think Hinge Mm -hmm. um and like I feel like most of those people are pretty serious but then like just last year I started using Tinder Mm -hmm. and there are some pretty there are some people can I say some explicit on here yeah okay there are some people that straight up are just like um (laughs) I don't want to say it we're just gonna bleep it anyways okay they're like do you or do you <laughs> like that, that's like the first message. thing they say to you like first message yeah oh, oh my god, god. Oh my, the, oh, confidence. The, confidence. Like, the confidence i know and then i'm like i'm like uh well i <laughs> <laughs> so, where do they get off from saying that though i know hold on let me pull they it. are literally There's... the boldest that is yeah like I respect that. Yeah, That's like I kind of respect it. Like, I know it's and I know, I know it's hella weird. Yeah, to it's just... super gross. And like, but... I wouldn't. You should never say that to another yeah. person. But like, wow, you really. But the confidence in it. Is but you use those thing, words like, in that order. That's the thing, though. The people who are like that, I tend to reply to. But then people who are like, "Hey, lo- I'm reading one right now. Hey, love, hope your day is going good. Would love to link with you in a vibe. See where it goes. You're cute." I like don't respond. Like I didn't respond. That's such a nice but then, one. Though. Like some That's people nice who are one, like, <laughs> damn, Rose take really notes, said. Guys. Take notes, guys. This is what she you really said. Writing. Nice guys finish last. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> this is what like, you guys should be should be messaging people. No, you shouldn't. But I mean, for me, you can. <laughs> but <laughs> for all you single men out there, if you're everyone else, this is what Rose likes. Yeah, she doesn't want your nice messages. <laughs> it's just so funny because, like, I don't really take these things seriously. Like, I don't take these things personally. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. right. So yeah. I just find it all fun, and like, it's just so funny the things people come up with. <laughs> People like send a picture of their like negative COVID test, and I'm like, dude, we're not <laughs> linking. It's fine. Like, you were not linking. It's okay. Um, just, uh, that's not the know. reason why. That's not yeah. the reason why, buddy. Hey, that's, what if they're just sharing the good news with you? Did you ever think that? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you just want to spread yeah. positivity. No, no. They, they, negativity. Maybe they just want to remind negativity. you. Negativity. <laughs> I um, just took my dad to get vaccinated yesterday, actually. Oh, nice. Ooh. At Dodger Stadium. Do he's years. ready to mingle. Ooh. Now he's ready to mingle. <laughs> Her married father <laughs> is ready to mingle. <laughs> Don't say that. I never, said he, I never said he was single. I never said he was single and ready to mingle. He's ready to mingle <laughs> with his family. Yes, there's mingle different kinds of mingles. Wife. Get your head out of the yes. gutter. There's mingle different kinds of mingles. Gutter. Six feet apart from my other family members. Yeah. yeah. But mingle with you and his wife. Yes. Platonically. <laughs> platonically. No, what? <laughs> platonically? No. <laughs> with his wife? Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes? Why not? Yeah. Wait, isn't that also a... Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to sound okay. so dumb. Well, just say it. We'll say edit it. it out if it's stupid. <laughs> it's on... Um, isn't that the same thing as a plate? A... You know, that's... No, the we're editing this out. We're editing this, out. we're editing this the out. tectonic plate. <laughs> You're talking about platonic the things in the earth, like, right? Like platonic, platonic means like, like friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Platonic. But isn't that also no? Those are tectonic. Those are tectonic <laughs> plates. <laughs> keep this in. Keep this in. <laughs> I can't tell if this is serious. I yeah, don't know I can't tell is... if you mean that. Yeah. Um, we tectonically love our. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tectonically. <sighs> That's why Tyler the Creator made Earthquake. <laughs> I don't think he ma- I don't think he said you make my Earthquake for his for his pals. I think <laughs> I think he but was. Um, you know, did he Did he tell you that? Yeah. Oh, then I'm sorry. Don't underestimate my relationship <laughs> with Tyler mind. the Creator. <laughs> then I'm sorry. All right. Have you guys seen that TikTok where this girl is like, you know how when people say, why do single people give the greatest um, advice? Why? Is it because they think about it the most or something? No, because um, the coach doesn't play the game. Oh, damn. She, was that off the dome? Was that off the dome? She says from well, a TikTok. You thought of that? It's, oh. a TikTok. Oh. it's from a TikTok. It's from a TikTok. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of yeah, get that. Because... If the you coach know? doesn't play the game. I mean, I know the coach doesn't play the game. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, the coach doesn't play the game. But like, but the coach has played the game at one point, though. Okay, but I that's why often, he's the coach. I am often finding myself to be the coach and never having played in the game. <laughs> but I, I think have never like, seen a quarter. I, just, I think that you don't need to be in a really like you don't need to have been in a relationship to give right. relationship advice because like yeah. people are just people. Yeah. I feel like most At the end of the day, advice is like communication advice. Yeah. 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 And I, I think don't... like the same standards that we have for like relationships, we should also transfer to our friends yeah, and like vice versa. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like the same love, love languages romantic. that we have. Yeah, Not all love is romantic. That's true. Not all love is romantic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cause that's just what I was like. <laughs> that's what, <laughs> that's what I was going to say too. Like, you know, um, it, it's also, it varies because everybody else has their own different love languages, but you kind of also need to understand how to talk to the, you know how to talk to different people right. yeah like you, you know, know like how to accommodate friendship. love languages yes yeah like in your friendship 100%. too like you know you can deal with other people's love languages and stuff and like mm-hmm. so why is that stopping you from doing the same thing to you know another person yeah or even mm-hmm. yourself oh yeah yeah, yeah. Yes, i've seen things chef. about like i've seen things about love people. yourself yeah applying love, love languages yourself. to yourself like so your top love languages 
if you love it's like mm. your love language is quality time like me mm. then spend some quality time with yourself like have some mm-hmm. you time. yeah that's so true oh, yeah. preach please <laughs> but like keep what it going like, wait is, is the love language like giving gifts or receiving gifts um i think it's just gift giving in general i think it's, yeah it's just like the exchange of gifts yeah so mm-hmm. I, think no, I think it's, it's both, or. no? Yeah, I, th- I think it's either yeah, yeah. or. Yeah, it's like either or. Words, yeah. yeah, and then like words of affirmation, words of affirmation. too is like, yeah. you know, yeah. kind Validation. of like talking. Yeah, yeah. so talking validate yourself. validate your loved ones. Validate, validate your yourself. Significant other. Validate yourself. Damn. Validate mm-hmm. yourself. You are Loving valid. just doesn't go you out. Are valid. It has to come back in. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oof. Mm. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is your love language? Mine? I will go first. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Rose, what's... Wait, what's... Rose, what's your love language? Mm, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, you go first. You go first. Wait, no, Rose, no. How, come, how come when you asked, you said mine as if we asked you? <laughs> <laughs> because I know, I'm, I know you're dying to know what my love language is. I really am, so tell what's me. What's your love language? What's your love mm. language? No, I'm too shy. You go first. You go first. <laughs> what? Um, just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> just I... kidding. I feel Dude, like just saying no my love language. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I will really say that. I think mine is um yeah, quality time and then um is it words what are the other ones? There's quality words time, words of affirmation, uh, physical touch. Physical touch. Mm. Aren't there five? What's the fifth one? Okay. The five love languages are words of affirmation, receiving gifts, oh, quality yeah. time, oh, yeah, acts of service. Of service. Thank you to our showrunner Dom. Thank you, showrunner. Um Okay, is it weird to say that like they kind of change? No, no, it's not because mine changed. Yeah, mine. Yeah, mine right. definitely changed. Because I think number one for me is always quality time. Before mm-hmm. the second one was physical touch, but now it's like the second one is acts of service. Mm-hmm. Is acts of service like to your to them or them to you? Or I think it's both? both. Yeah, I think it's both. Hmm. It's um, yeah, okay. It's Girl, I don't love. know what acts of service you're talking I think, about. I think but... I think... <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking about those acts of service, then it should be both. <laughs> it should be both. I feel well, like I mean it's different. Like receiving <laughs> gifts is like material things, and acts of service is like the act, the verb of, of, of doing like things. doing things. Yeah, yeah. doing things for others. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Acts of service. Mm, yeah, I'll say quality time and then acts of service because I do like you know doing things for people. I think like I'm not good at giving gifts, or I th- I oh, think yeah. I'm good Same. at giving gifts. But I mean, you can ask my you can ask you know. Um. <laughs> I think my love language used to be um, used to be words of affirmation, but now I think it's quality time and acts of service. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, because like my my boyfriend and I have been you know, in a long distance relationship ever since the beginning of our relationship. Mm. So I think now since we're together, you know, for this long, it's like those things that are more important to me that are like the quality time and also like access mm. services, you know, doing stuff together mm-hmm. or So it does change. You know, it does yeah, change. Yeah, so yeah, it does change. I mm. think my level I don't know. I haven't taken the quiz in like forever. I don't know. I feel like it I don't really remember my results, actually. I think my, my top one right now would be quality time, I want to say. I think that was yours, the last time Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. I think yours quality words time. words of affirmation. Before. Words, yeah. I feel like it was like, it was like between quality time and words of affirmation. Uh-huh. I think it was between mm-hmm. those. And I think the least one was physical touch. Like, that was the lowest one. I don't like being <laughs> touched. I don't like being touched. No, yeah. You don't even like hugs from us. No. Mm. Like, I do oh, it obligatory. So like, it's like, like it's like in those situations where it's like, oh, everyone's <laughs> hugging. I guess oh, I got to hug now. <laughs> no, no, no. I feel the same way. Like, yeah. I I don't like hugging. Or my, oh my God, what I hate is when people put their put their head on your um, on your shoulder. Yeah, like yeah. Like, I feel weird. I don't, like, like I don't, that. I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels like like uncomfy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. No, it's I not feel a bad thing. Way. Like it's not their fault, but it's like yeah, it's really it's not. You. It's really just like it's just my love language. 
or, dead. or it's not, not your love language. Your love language. It's not or my it's love not language. language. It's not yeah. my love yeah. language. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's like so weird to me because um the closer we are, the more awkward it is for me to hug you. Right, That's right. So no, true. I agree. I agree. I agree. Like I, I feel like my own right, sister. Right. I feel like if I met someone for the first time, like just like, oh, oh, hey, like what's up? Like a side yeah, hug yeah, or yeah. something, like that's fine. Mm-hmm. But like once yeah. I know your last name, <laughs> don't touch me, dude. Get the <laughs> f off me. <laughs> we know too Who much about me? each other. We know too much about each other. <laughs> once you know their love language. <laughs> once, you love your, once you know their love language, no, you don't. Yeah. I don't like putting, I don't like people putting their hand or their head on me. Yeah. But I yeah. like, like, walking hand in hand or like holding someone's i don't know mm-hmm. interlocking arms that's like my right, favorite right, right. like st- yeah. like simple stuff like that I, I can manage but if it's like i'm obviously feeling affection from you i'm just like my body's just like whoa oh, stop same stop. That's, okay. love? no no get oh, away from me same <laughs> Okay, honestly, I'm I'm not like a very like touchy feely like love story kind of gal. Like I, you guys, I haven't even seen to the to the boys I loved before. Is that the title? To the, to all the boys, well, the boys I've loved I love before. before. To the boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the voice inside. To the inside. Oh, oh my god, god, god. 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 In it. <laughs> you are in it, girl. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I haven't even seen to all the boys I've loved before cuz I I don't like romantic stuff, like oh, sappy really? stuff. Mm. I don't I'm kind know. of the opposite. Like I really like that stuff. I like really? I feel, Yeah, I think I don't know, something like super cheesy about it, like all that cheesy stuff. Oh. Like I like watching that cuz it's just like, ooh, it's like I'm like in between. Mm-hmm. They're touching each other. Oh my god. Yeah, Francisco and I've watched like I made him watch to yeah. all the boys I've loved before like it was a month really ago good. and he really loved I it. I really liked that. I was like giggling <laughs> the whole time. It was nice. Yeah, he was. It's just like a nice feel good movie. What's that word? There's like a Filipino word like killing, killing. which means like I don't know, I'm not the Gala word I'm gonna say. It means uh, um it's just like the butterfly. It's like the butterflies that you get. There's not really like an English yeah. word for it. That's I don't know. Yeah. I, I really like those, though. I really like, like, cheesy love stories. Like, I love rom-coms. Really? I don't know. But also, I don't like sad movies. I don't like rom-coms, oh. and I don't like sad movies. I'm a, I'm a thriller, psychological, oh. <laughs> okay, horror type of gal. Yeah. Those are good, though. Those are usually the better movies, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, critique-wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a film you- major. <laughs> <laughs> and Francisco's an art major. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are some movies that aren't meant to be rom coms. Yeah. Or romantic movies that end up being romantic movies. Like I don't mind those. Okay. Like, I don't mind when like I can't think of an example. I can't uh, think of any either, but like I know what you mean. Like they're like it if it's like an action movie. I don't mm-hmm. mind if there's like oh there's like elements of romance yeah there's like some mm-hmm. loving in yeah. there but I don't want that to be the whole thing for me right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, yeah 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 same yeah. here sometimes it's like unnecessary yeah. but sometimes it makes the movie better I can't yeah. Yeah. think of a movie yeah. it just adds another <laughs> layer of like mm-hmm. things to happen yeah I think like an yes. example for me is um I don't know like what the actual genres of the movie is but like Scott Pilgrim I love Scott Pilgrim because. Mm. Like obviously he is in love with like right, a girl, but that's like more comedy than romantic. Yeah, yeah, but like there are elements of romance. Like he's right, right, in a right. relationship, and then he's also dealing with like other relationships around him, even yeah, like his yeah. other ones. But also like he's fighting people. There's a lot mm-hmm. of laughs in there. Like it's not just romance, but like romance is a big aspect of it. I mean, Scott Pilgrim's mm-hmm. an asshole, though. But oh yeah, <laughs> no, definitely. But <laughs> that's like a whole different podcast. Michael Sarah <laughs> is an asshole. Maybe I don't like that. Maybe. Well, I don't want to be with Michael Sarah, actually. I'm gonna cut this part out. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you hear that, Michael? You hear that, Mikey? (laughs) No, 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 Michael. Michael, big fan, Michael. You hear that, Mikey C? Our boy's coming for you. Hey, yo, if you if you about to pull up, I'm six two, buddy. If you try to pull up, I'm six two. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what a great tall? way. What a great way to just like say your height. Like, wow. <laughs> wow. You know, like, he's just flexing All his height. Beers. Pull up. Pull I'm up. Six two. How how tall is he? How tall is Michael Sarah? I feel I like he's know. like four feet something. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> he looks tiny. He probably, yeah. What do you mean? He's probably your height. He probably There's is your no height. Way. Would he be? 
Dom said that uh, um, he's five nine. He's well, five thinking. nine. He's five nine. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Is that good he's or is that nine. bad? He's what like, if I were standing up, he'd be up, he'd be up to my eyebrows. Dom has also informed us that Michael Sarah is 143 oh pounds. Dan. Dude, just... So <laughs> is that proportionate or not? <laughs> skinny no, legs. Dude, I could... <laughs> Dude, I, I could know, blow I at him and he'll, like, fly away. Man. I was going to say, if you want to beat him, just blow at him. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that's proportionate. If you're, like, 5'9 and 143... Yeah, that's dude, like, that's like you're super skinny. 143 dude. what? Oh, pounds. Dude, squid, pounds. skinny queen. Skinny queen Michael Sarah. <laughs> skinny, legend. Skinny, skinny legend Michael Sarah. Skinny Sarah. queen Mikey C. Um, hey, but you about to pull up? Just keep that in mind. I got three inches, buddy. I got three inches on you. <laughs> Do you want to hear about my worst Valentine's Day? Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> so, okay. At my Catholic school growing up, um, it was a really small school. You're with the same people for nine years from kinder to eighth grade. Oh, my God. So if you have a crush on someone, you're not introduced to anyone new for the most part. So, right. like, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's your crush. Right. I had a crush on this guy um, from, like, kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. Damn. Like, Damn. I was obsessed with him. And, like, we were friends. So I decided on Valentine's Day of eighth grade, since that was our last Valentine's Day that we knew of, I actually went to high school with him too, (laughs) but I thought that was going to be our last Valentine's Day together. So I was like, okay, I'm going to tell him that I like him. And so, and he also had a girlfriend at this time. (laughs) Um, Wow, Kirby. Wow. But I just like, I just needed to tell him. I just needed to tell him. So I wrote... Home I wrote record. a letter, and I think I actually wrote it, like, a month before Valentine's Day. And, like, I just told him, like, yeah, I just, I've just i liked you this whole time, and I know you have a girlfriend, but, like, I just wanted to tell you. It's, like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to homewreck anyone. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And you were in the process of doing so, though. I, you were in the process I of doing explicitly so. explicitly said, like, I'm not going to be a homewrecker. Like, I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm just telling you what's up. And I remember, like... I, during recess, I put it in his desk for him to find during our, like, we had a class Valentine's Day party. And then, like, when I saw him opening the desk, I immediately asked to go to the bathroom. So I left. <laughs> and then, <laughs> when I came back, like, he didn't do anything. He didn't say anything to me. And we actually, like, didn't talk for a really long time. <laughs> and oh, I that's think sad. it low-key, like, ruined our friendship. Yeah. And, like... I even I would I would be the one like texting him and I'd be like, Hey, I just I just wanna know like are we okay, dude? And like he would just be like, I don't know. And I was like, Damn. Damn. That's so sad. I know. And that's and then, why you never tell someone you have feelings for them. <laughs> <laughs> that's the but, now that's, away, everyone. but now that's and all that's I why freaking you have to do. Keep it to yourself. I wasn't really thinking about him in that part, which is on my like my bad, but yeah, it was learn. more on me. Like I just wanted to tell him. To this day, um, my best friends were growing up. They call it the Valentine's Day Massacre, and oh. I have never, <laughs> they have never let me live it down. They still think I'm going to marry him. I don't yeah. think I... So, oh like, God. what happened in high school? Did you not talk to each other in high school? He did not talk to me. In my yearbook? Wow, oh my he's God. fake. In my yearbook in eighth grade, he wrote, like, can't wait to see you in high school. What a f***ing liar. Oh, my God. And now you know yeah, to never oh confess my. your feelings ever. Okay, but after that, I confess my feelings to, like, <laughs> five different guys. <laughs> when was, what was you learn? I will learn? never learn. <laughs> if I have crushes, I just like send them telepathic messages. <laughs> so you are telling until, them. I until they know. Yeah. So you and should like stare at them like, until they like. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, what the f? Are you staring at me? I like. No, I, like you. I never <laughs> stare. I never stare at them. I just <laughs> act like they don't exist, and oh. then they're like, and then I, and then you know, you end up telling them that you like them, and they're like, wait, you liked me. You didn't notice any of the signs? You didn't get my telepathic messages? You didn't hear me yelling at you? (laughs) I was yelling at you from my mind. How dare you? Before we wrap our podcast today, should we give everyone some love advice? (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) I have I mean, no advice to offer. By, by the time this um this episode airs, Valentine's Day would have already been done. But, true, true, true. 
You know, That's we'll true. give you some love advice for every day, for uh, as an everyday uh, practice. <laughs> Francisco! <laughs> What's a love advice you want to talk to our listeners about? What do you want to tell them? Um... Oh my God. <laughs> you have no love advice to people? He's letting everyone know that he don't care about this. <laughs> you don't care about your love life. Be honest with your significant mm-hmm. other and more importantly yourself. Go mm-hmm. into it with intentions. <laughs> uh-huh. Go Thank into you. it. Go into it. Stating your intentions and what you want and what you're expecting and your openness. No, that's actually pretty bad advice. Never mind. Don't listen to me, everyone. Don't listen to me. <laughs> wow. I think that's pretty sound advice. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Keep, Wait, keep let going, me, chef. Let me start yeah. over. Let me start over. Let me keep start Keep going, over. chef. Let me start over. Keep going. Uh, say what you want to say. Don't beat around the bush. I don't know. That kind of stuff is hard to do, though, you know? It's hard to do. But, you know, that's that's what practice makes perfect, you know? Practice, <laughs> makes, <laughs> practice makes perfect, you know? You got to learn together. You got to grow together. And that's the biggest part of being in a relationship. Dang. You need to grow together and make up for each other's faults. Ooh. Speak your truth, King. <laughs> Stay up. Just stay up. Stay, stay up. up. Be positive. Be practice positive. makes stay perfect, up. dude. You know, let life practice happen to you. Perfect. Just... Any other love advice to our lovely listeners, to our lovely audience? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. Advice. Cool. Just me. <laughs> no. 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 Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. So Francisco's not by himself. Um, be transparent and communicate with your significant other, um, have enough love for them, but also, um, set aside some love for your loved ones outside of the relationship because there are other people in your life and also set aside some love for yourself. Um, and don't change yourself for someone else, but let them help you improve. Ooh. That's wow. good. Wow. That is way can, better than what can, I was going to say. Damn. Yes. What were you going to say? We, can we get a yes, chef? <laughs> yes, yes, chef. chef. <laughs> oh, honestly, what else, what advice could you give to people other than just be, just be nice <laughs> to one another? It, <laughs> sometimes people need to hear that. Yeah, just just be nice to one another, y'all. Yeah. Like, be nice to you. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to your, you know, your friends, your significant other, your parents, just whoever. Just be, just be f- nice, bitch. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of fun. <laughs> no, <laughs> coming from Francisco, the meanest f- person alive. I know, I'm seriously. Not, I am not. Right? Mean. Like, I sent a really nice email to Francisco like two days ago, and he said like. I would rather not see you because you look like a monster or something. <laughs> that is not <laughs> what, what I said. said. I'm going to put the email up he so said, everyone can see it. That said, is not I what find I said. You, he said, I find you disgusting. That's what oh he my said. God. No. Put the email up. Put the email up. That's exactly I'm putting what the email up because that is not what I said. I'm entitled you to my opinion. clearly opinions. stated that you <laughs> find me disgusting. <laughs> wow. My opinions are valid. My opinions are valid. My opinions are valid. Okay, That's right, I King. <laughs> I stay up. Stay up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stay up. <laughs> Damn, I'm my opinions are valid. I'm on this pod. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's okay. I love me, like you said. I mm, yes. Me, yeah. so. uh, Thank you for tuning in to this month's special Valentine's episode of No Self Control. You can keep up with our collective on social media. It is at selfcontrol.collective. And you can subscribe to our podcast on all of your favorite listening platforms. And especially if you want to see some video content, you can follow us on YouTube or TikTok for extras. And it's we'll self see you next time. CTRL. Oh, yes. Yes. CTRL, once again, take that scissor.
We don't want beef no. with scissors, though. I want we beef don't with want scissors. But if you do, I want beef with scissors. But if no, you do, no, I'm 6'2", SZA. <laughs> I'm 6'2", SZA. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, pull up with your smoke, SZA. I hey, well, I don't want beef. I don't want beef. I want beef. I want beef. I'll see you at dinner, SZA. I'll see you at dinner. Anyways, thanks for stopping by, everyone. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.